Hey, what's up? It's Joe Heslinga from Foosballers. What's up, Joe? How you doing? We're living the dream, trying to stay warm. So let's talk about this. The director, co-writer, and co-producer of the documentary is called Foosballers, and I got a chance to watch it. I showed Zim the trailer. I've got to tell you, Joe, that I didn't know that there was such a strong um, love and passion for foosball. Uh, neither did we. We, uh, we actually Googled it as a joke. Because we, we were like, there's no way that pro foosball exists. Uh, but, you know, with any game, there's always going to be the best at something. And we Googled it, and, yeah, we went down this crazy rabbit hole. I mean, how bored were you? What were you? I feel like that's... <laughs> you know, I think we were having a couple beers. I think uh, we started talking about it because Cornhole was on TV. And we're like, what? this is crazy that they have all these weird sports on TV. And we were just talking about obscure sports. <laughs> but yeah, man, it, it turned into a, like a, a seven-hour session on the internet where it was like, next thing you know, it was 3 a.m. And like, what just happened to me? I just consumed everything foosball on the internet, you know? Do you play foosball? Uh, I did a little bit. Just I think everybody plays growing up, like at a you know friend's house or whatever. But um, I never really, you know... Played it a lot, um, but I started to play now. I, you know, who better to teach how to play than a world champion? For you know? sure. <laughs> how many hours did you put into this documentary? How much work was put forth? Uh, years. Um, we, you know, we ever since we went down that rabbit hole, we started consuming everything foosball. So we we bought the World Table Soccer Almanac, which is like six hundred pages of. of table soccer stuff, um, and, and we started uh, traveling all around the country just meeting foosball players, and we followed six of the best the leading up to the world championships. And then, you know, I, I cut the whole movie myself. I did it in my apartment, um, you know, just in the middle of the night, just staying up till wee hours, uh, just cutting away. That's awesome. Uh-huh. That is – so are you a good fo- – do you, do you consider yourself a good foosball – excuse me, table soccer player? <laughs> Uh, no, man, no, I'm terrible. Uh, you know, I could probably beat most of my friends who don't play, but uh, when you see a pro foosball player, like, on a table, it, it kind of blows you away. They have such good ball control, and, and they can make any, they can execute any pass, any shot from anywhere on the table. It's nuts. you got to see the documentary. It's called Foosballers, uh, and this is, first of all, congratulations. I know that you guys topped some charts. I know you guys are number one on iTunes Sports Movie Chart and top ten overall for documentaries. That's something to brag about. Is this, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess people are watching the movie. You know, that's the one thing you, you really hope for when you make a doc or make any any sort of content. You want people to watch it. So, you know, for us, uh, we weren't foosball people going into this, and we really try to make a movie that would appeal to everybody. So there's a ton of humor. And, you know, by the end of the movie, we're hoping that everyone has their favorite character that they're rooting for to go into the world championships and kind of connect with on that level. So I have one question for you, Joe. I, I might've missed this part, this little detail, but I noticed on one of the, uh, the one of the table soccer tables, there was like uh like a powdery stuff on the, on the table. What you know what I'm talking about? Almost yeah, yeah, stuff that, was just, for- uh, that was like powder uh, cleaner, like uh, Ajax or something. Uh, he put that on there. It was like chalk uh, to, to see the angle of the ball and, and how the ball was moving when he does a shot. That's incredible. So instead, besides knowing everything there is to know now about foosball, what, what's your day job? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm a writer for F is for Family on Netflix. This is what you do. You write and produce, and, and you said you did it. You did all the cutting of the film at home late at night as like your just your hobby, or did you did you have a certain goal in mind once you started working on this? What what was your overall goal? I mean, we wanted to we set out to make a documentary. I've always wanted to direct movies, uh, and this story kind of fell into our laps, and we're like, let's go do it. You know, we were on hiatus from Evans for Family, so we we're in between seasons, and yeah, it became it, it became my full time job, even though I wasn't getting paid for it, um, and it was a learning experience because I had never edited anything, but I think having a background in writing helped me out a lot, just being able to to distill the story and and try to tell it in the best way possible. So Shannon is a little bit older than I am, but I was asking her if she ever remembered professional foosball because I didn't know it existed, and apparently it maybe went away or it was not as much in the spotlight in the the 80s as it was prior to that. Is that accurate? Yeah, so uh, in the 70s they had a million-dollar pro tour where guys were dropping out of school, girls were dropping out of school, quitting their day jobs, and you could win, you know, five to fifteen thousand dollars at a, a foosball tournament. 
Um, they had the top prize at a, a given tournament. It could be a Corvette or a Porsche. And uh, it, it was a bona fide sport, and they were it was on the rise. And then the coin-op industry kind of, you know, di- disrupted it all because uh, video games started to, to show up on the scene. It's crazy. You know what I was thinking the whole time I watched the trailer? I'm like, this is crazy. But then also I'm like, how many of these players like suffer carpal tunnel and wrist injuries? Do they break their wrists often? I know that's so Yeah, random. yeah. So it, it's a lot of uh, rotator cuff, um, wrist, uh, elbows. You get like tendonitis. Um, you know, one of the guys in the movie, he goes to a chiropractor and gets, uh, you know, realigned and, and gets some treatment on his arm. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's physically taxing if you think about it. If you go to a foosball tournament, uh, one of these you know pro tournaments, you're playing for 14 hours a day for a couple of days in a row, and it's high impact. It's not just you know flicking your wrist. You're using your whole body. You're you know tweaking your whole uh, legs and abs and and wrist and and shoulder. So, yeah, some of these guys get injured. Uh, believe it or not, it's a fascinating documentary called Foosballers. Joe, tell people how they can find this documentary. Uh, well, we're, it's available on iTunes and Vimeo On Demand. Both those links are up on our website, foosballersmovie.com.